Now every single year when I do my Christmas display, I always include a train. This particular one right here, which is battery operated. Now this train set I got from Walmart several years ago, and it has done very well for me all these years. The electric train set I got for myself three years ago is this one right here, Yardmaster from Bachman. This I got from Hobby Lobby. Now one thing I did realize is when comparing this with the battery operated one is how much bigger this battery operated train is. Now this gauge is HO, which is a little bit smaller than this one. And not only that, battery operated cannot go incline, it doesn't have the power. That's going to change with this set, because now I'll be able to go multi-level, go up incline, so that's going to be great for my village this year. When I was a little kid, I always had a fascination with trains. My father went ahead and got me a train set. We had that in the finished basement downstairs, and we played with it for a long time. I have no idea what happened to it. Lost, no, who knows. But I got a train set this time. So this is going to go great in my village this year, and so it's going to bring back a lot of childhood memories. So let's start with the unboxing. I don't know why I didn't do this three years ago, but hey. Alright, so, seal is broken. This is the tracks, okay? Nothing else in there. This train set comes with a locomotive, which is actually has some weight to it, which is really good. One thing I did realize is compared with the battery operated one, it's how much bigger the battery operated one is. This is much smaller, sleeker, has some weight to it does steam. One thing it does have that this one does not is it has power. This one will be able to go incline because I do want to create a bridge where it can go right over a road system. I was never able to do that with the battery operator. So now I'll be able to do that with this. So you have the locomotive which is steam engine 4433 part of the Union Pacific Railroad. Very nice color. Uh, it's like a charcoal gray, black, and silver. And it has working lights, it says, so that'll be interesting to see. Um, comes with a gondola and caboose. All right, yellow. This is also uh, Union Pacific 808. This says Burlington on it. Now, actually, I can use this one to carry all the presents uh, to all the children everywhere in the world. So that'll be good, because I had that in the other train set. So I, it's good to carry on the tradition with this. These are the curved tracks. This one here is slightly different, so I guess this is where you plug in all the electrical component. One thing I did realize, noticing now, is they're all curved in this particular package. So it's a great thing that I did buy some straight ones. All right, all right, that's it for this. There's nothing else in there. This is for the speed, control the train, going forward, backwards, fast or slow.
One of the reasons why I got this electric train set was so it can go up hills. So let's test this incline just on this little model just to see how well it does. Thank you for watching this video and I look forward to seeing your comments on what kind of train set you have in your village this year. Let me know if it's bigger, smaller, faster, stronger. We'd like to know. So until my next video where I'm actually setting up my village this year, adios amigos.